Hi everyone, Gemmy here. Thank you for watching today. So I've got another Easter project for you. No specialty dies are required to make this. So it's a wrap with seven individual boxes inside that contain a little chocolate egg. So I've created this gorgeous topper and belly band which holds the box together. So this slides off. I'll just hold that up a little closer so you can see that lovely pattern paper, those gorgeous flowers and that cute little bunny. And then you just set that to one side. You open it up and the boxes wrap out or open up to reveal bunny kisses and Easter wishes gone really bright and colourful for this project and I just love how it's turned out. The only dies that I've used are for decoration purposes for the Easter and the topper but everything else can be made using your scoreboard. So let me get into the tutorial. I'm going to split the project down into three sections. The first section being the outer wrap and the decoration. The second section being the internal boxes and the decoration for the inside of the wrap and then the third section the belly band and any additional decoration so to make the outer wrap you need a piece of seven and five eighths by eleven and one eighth and along the seven and five eighths side I've scored one and a half three four and a half and six so every one and a half and you'll have about one eighth of an inch just overhang on this side and that's just to accommodate the sort of the give on the wrap and make sure that those ends marry up to decorate the wrap you need five pieces of one and a quarter by ten and seven eighths and I've embossed that using the Simply Made Crafts pebble embossing folder so I thought the pebbles sort of looked quite Easter egg shaped <laughs> and I thought that would look really effective against the wrap. So I'm just going to fold and burnish along the score lines. So all the folds are mountain folds and I'm just going to go ahead and attach the five panels on the front of this wrap. So I'm going to set this to one side and we're going to work on the box next. If you're following along and making the same number of boxes as me, you'll want six pieces of six and a half by five. Along the six and a half inch side, score at one and a half, three, four and a half and six. Then rotate and score at half, two and three and a half. Fold and burnish along the score lines. Next, we're going to do some trimming. So we've got the half inch section at the top and on the right hand side. So we're going to work left to right along the bottom edge and we're going to cut up all of the score lines, freeing up those four squares and the end rectangle. Like so. Just rotate and remove that outer rectangle like so and then you want to take a wedge from the second square and the fourth square like so and then just take a little wedge off this area here then we're going to rotate so we've now got the half inch section on the left hand side and along the bottom edge and you want to free up all of these pieces again so we're going to cut up past the first to the second score line just do that for all of those score lines along this edge like so then rotate and remove these two pieces and you can add a little wedge to that as well. So while we have it in this position, you want to, this end panel here, we're going to cut this in half, like so. We're also going to fold this one back and then do the same for 
this piece okay then we're going to remove this completely so along this score line here just remove that and then I can see I've got a little bit of score line left on this piece so I'm just going to take that away just to tidy that up and this will form our lid so I'm going to turn it back upright and you should have a piece that looks like this so this is our lid this is our base our just sort of um, side tabs to hold the lid in place and then our tab to connect everything together so I'm just going to place it across in the third box along in the middle section and I'm going to add my pattern paper while I have a flat surface so I've got four pieces of one and a quarter squid so I've got one for my lid one for my base and then the side pieces so I'll bring in the some of the boxes I've created off camera so you can just see this one's nice and wedged shut <laughs> so I'm having usually I have the lid facing the front like so but I want the lid to open from the inside there like so so this piece where I've marked with a cross will attach to the wrap and then you'll be able to open the lid just from the back there if you don't want that the same and you want this to be a front piece then don't add your pattern paper there add it to this piece and this piece okay so I hope that makes sense so while I have a flat surface I am going to add the pattern paper and then we'll um, assemble the box so pattern paper now attached I'm going to flip it over fold one of the squares and the side tab back on itself I'm going to add quick grab glue and fold the other side over everything should marry up so as this with a cross is the back I'm going to fold this square down first then these two side tabs and then that front piece so I'm just going to check that there's no overhang so I think that looks pretty good I'm going to use Kalal glue for this there's something light going in there but I um, just want to make sure that that's nice and strong and then just pop it on the base of your desk and press that down so I filled all of the boxes with this dairy milk chocolate egg and these are the 77 gram pack so there's seven eggs in there so I've just realized I've made a mistake <laughs> and told you to cut six but it's actually seven um, so I'm going to pop that inside and then I'm going to work with the lid to check that it's going to hold itself in place so when I push these sides tab side tabs down I can already see that this is overhanging you want to when you look inside the box here you should have a small gap so if you look at this side I've got a slightly smaller gap I'm going to remove that score line completely so as I said it's all trial and error take small amounts rather than large amounts because once you've taken it away you can't put it back so that's a much smoother opening there I haven't showed you what I'm using in today's video so I'll show you that now I'm going to be using the creative craft products honeycomb easter sentiment stamp set and the simply made crafts alphabet die set I'm going to use those to spell out easter and then this is for my sentiment and then for my topper I'm using Paper Discovery Movers and Shakers Cute Die Set and the pattern papers are from Creative Craft, Craft Lab and this is Friends Designer Paper Excellent so now that we've assembled the boxes I'm going to 
um, arrange these just on the wrap like so and just gonna place them down for a moment so when you're adding your boxes just be mindful that you've got that larger panel just on your left hand side and it's a really simple process but you want to just check that you've got it in the right orientation so the lids at the top I did start filming this well I started assembling it and then my camera wasn't recording for some reason so that's why I've got glue on the back of some of these boxes so I'm skipping that larger panel just on the left hand side and working my way along to the next panel and basically you want to just make sure that that's but up right to the top there and that fits within those two sides so if you roll it all up it should all fit in like so so again checking the orientation of the box adding glue to the section that we add in so this one is going to go just below and in the next column so I've got the glue here facing the cardstock and I'm going to flip it once to the left hand side and line that up so just put that right up against so you can see that the glue is now on this side and I'm folding the side up to attach that box so you've got to have a little bit of patience with this make sure that everything marries up and that that box is grabbing to that panel Again, check the orientation of the box. Make sure that the lid is facing up. Add your glue. So it's going there. So my glue is underneath now, facing the cardstock. And again, I'm going to flip it to the left-hand side. Butt it up against that box. Wrap it all around. And press it into that glue. So it's the same process for all the boxes. So I'll just show you where I'm going to attach the next one. And this one's going to go there and then you're going to come back down along the bottom so i'm going to go ahead and attach these now and i'm going to come back to you once they're all attached and i've cut the pattern paper then to fill in the gaps so I've gone ahead and I've cut the pattern paper that's going to sit inside the wrap. I've got a gap here because I'm going to be adding a sentiment. So I've got bunny kisses and, and then this will spell out Easter wishes. So I'll give you the measurements. Um, if you're not going to have a sentiment here, you want a piece of 10 and 3 quarters by one and a quarter but if you're doing the same sort of design as me and adding the sentiment so all of the strips are one and a quarter wide and then this piece is uh, four and three eighths so two of those to sit either side there this larger strip then measures seven and three quarters then these smaller squares here and this smaller square there is one and a quarter squared this piece here is four and a half you want then two pieces of three and then on the last panel two pieces of four and a half I've got wishes to go on there and then I've used the alphabet dies to cut Easter so I've die cut them twice once in black once in white just give that drop shadow 
I think the black at the front would have been a better option. Um, I did sort of a couple of tests in terms of what I liked best. And at the time I liked the white on the black, but I do think now that maybe um, the white should be the drop shadow and then the black. So it really just pops against that colored um, paper there. But I'll, I'll go with it. So I'm going to go and attach all of these panels now and the letters and then we'll work on the belly band. So there's the inside now decorated so it all just rolls up like so and just sort of wiggle it into place. So I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and a piece of pink cardstock next and this measures one and a quarter by about nine and a half and this is a scrap piece. Um, so you want to place this let me just move this out of the way slightly so you can see what I'm doing there I'm going to start with the back okay so I'm going to place that just about in the center I'm going to pinch that just there bring in my scoreboard line that up so I place this back on my box and line that up to where we scored it and then I'm going to pinch the next line and do exactly the same. That now wraps around the back and the sides and then Pinch the next one in place, make sure you're holding it in the right position. And then do the same with the other side. Just pinch that in place. And line it up with your scoreboard. So I just folded that sort of roughly in place. And I'm gonna trim that away. over the top so this is going to be hidden so I'm just going to cut that roughly there like so and then just check that you're happy with your positioning I'm going to add quick grab glue just to this piece to help secure it in place So just do a check that that moves freely up and down so you need to be able to slide that in and out like so so i'm just going to add my little topper and then the project is done so i brought in the made to the prize um additions die set everything will be listed in the description box below when i thought the shape of the flowers matched perfectly with this pattern paper and I just thought it needed a little bit extra to sort of emphasize the bunny there on the front. So I'm just going to add some cloud glue to this panel here. So you could add this straight or to an angle. What do we think? Hmm. Decisions, decisions, straight angle. I think I'm going to do it at an angle. I'm just going to pick the bunny back up. And just put the bunny straight. Like so. I think that looks really cute. I'm just going to slide that off carefully now and just press that down at the back there. It's going to need some time to grab. So there's the final project. So the wrap is held together with this belly band, slides off like so, and then opens up to reveal the boxes inside and bunny kisses and Easter wishes. So I think it's turned out really lovely, just like all the um, bright and bold colours there. So I've just gone for an explosion of colour just to match those pattern papers and you've got all those different um, 
pattern papers that work beautifully together with the bunnies in the background and then this gorgeous topper. So I hope you've enjoyed today's project from me. If you have, please hit the like button, leave a comment or consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. As I said previously, any products used in today's video will be listed in the description box below. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.